So I made a video on project ideas about a month ago and I started to get molested by comments threatening me to make tutorials on those projects. But you know what? That completely goes against the point of that video. It was meant to inspire the will of coding within you. The moment you get a tutorial, it destroys all the fun and learning in the process. Real learning happens when you commit to an idea and completely build it yourself no matter what happens. But the problem I used to have is like I had literally no idea where to begin or learn how to build my dream project. And even if I start, I'd feel lost inadequate and eventually lose all the motivation to code and then get back to playing video games or whatever degenerate activity I was into back then. Let's look at Gru himself. His project was to steal the moon, very ambitious as your goal should be. And he broke it down into very simple steps. Steal the shrink ray, get loan from a bank, build a rocket using minions, fly to the moon, shrink the moon, grab the moon and sit on a toilet. Do you see how easily he broke down a nearly impossible task into simple subtask? My college years, some professors forced us to write research papers and my mind would spit out such sheer amounts of exasperation for having to waste my time on something so stupid and insignificant. I would feel overwhelmed by the thought of writing a research paper. Then as the deadline approached, I thought let's just write the introduction tonight. And I did that within 10 minutes. Then in the next sitting, I planned to finish literature review, then data use in the next, then I completed methodology, results, etc. And in just 3 days, I was able to write the whole thing. Look, our brain gets overwhelmed seeing huge tasks like learn full stack development or create a to do app. What you need to do is break it down into small little steps like Gru did. Then set deadlines for each small task because it forces you to think. So if I want to learn full stack, I will give myself 3 days to learn HTML, 1 week for CSS and 1 to 1.5 weeks on JavaScript. At this point, I cannot estimate how much time ReactJS or Node.js will take for me to complete. So I'll decide that once I finish JavaScript. If I want to make a simple to do app, I give myself 1 to 2 days for planning and designing. I'll mention what features I want, draw a simple system architecture, maybe a rough front end design in Figma, create a database schema and write all possible APIs. In the next two to four days, according to my bandwidth and skill level, I would set up MongoDB and write all the CRUD APIs in ExpressJS. The next two to four days, I would invest in making a front end and the next two to four days to integrate and polish my app for release. You see how simple the task looks when you break it down into smaller, easier sub goals? Okay, man bear, now I have a plan and all the resources I need to begin. But once I start, I lose all the motivation within a week. See, programming is just like a video game. You start weak, you slay small bosses, complete side quests, and level up to face harder bosses. The further you progress, the more aura, strength, and endurance you gain. But watching a tutorial is like game pausing at every single challenge you face and telling you the best attack combo to perform in this situation so you always win. Sure, they can be helpful initially, but you have to stop relying on them at some point. And what makes you better at chess? Learning the tactics, strategies, and openings of every elo and gradually ranking up, or asking stockfish every time you get stuck. And this is the reason why you can play video games for 10 hours but not code even for one. You're not giving your brain enough space to solve small or achievable challenges to release dopamine and eventually get addicted to coding. I'm diving deep into the topic of motivation in an upcoming video so spank that bell notification to keep in tune. So man there, by setting big goals, breaking them down into smaller achievable goals and fight them using my own head, not a tutorial, not only do I stay consistent but also learn true programming skills and not just superficial CRUD applications. This is amazing! But how do I practically navigate a completely new domain? Surely I need some help, right? Whenever I'm assigned a new team or start a new project, first I get an overview from GVD. It guides me about the roadmap, history and how much mana I need to carry to overcome this. Next I go over the docs for installation. Next I look for some tutorials on YouTube but not for blindly building a project just to learn the basics of that technology. Now most tutorials will be of poor quality in niche topics and you'll be better off following the docs. But then again, a lot of docs are poorly written too, like an old wizard who talks in riddles. Here's where ChatGPT comes in. AI is by far the best learning tool and even with niche languages, it can understand and solve your problems if you provide them the right context. But most coders end up using AI as a clone jutsu and end up learning nothing. You know that feeling of defeating a tough boss easily through gimmicks and then not even feeling good about it. Instead, you should use AI not as a clone but as a teacher who trains you in combat. They don't just tell what to do, they also tell you why to do that if you read them carefully. Whenever you're stuck, try to spend at least some time tackling the problem by yourself. You might get surprised how many times you can come up with this solution yourself. If the only way out is GBT, understand and learn why GBT took that approach so when the next time you face the same problem, you can solve it by yourself. You'll become invincible if you follow this training method. Concepts and skills you develop will transfer to your next project and you'll learn how to code exponentially faster. Just you with a code editor and internet can conquer anything in this world. Remember, there's no shortcut for success. Work hard, work smart and thanks for watching Manware.